Hello everyone, welcome to the teaching show. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. And if you find this video useful, please don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you so much. So in this course on process calculation, in this video, we are going to study about flowchart scaling. In the last video, we had seen how to balance your flowchart by applying balance equations and then if a basis is not given what is the right way to choose a basis so now we will start with the same theme suppose i have been given a process and um, the flow rates are given so in this problem you remember the problem one link is given in the comment uh, in the comment section so uh, for this problem, feed flow rate was given and you were asked to calculate some of the uh, flow streams which were unknown over here. We had applied balance equations and calculated these flow streams and then what we get was a balanced flow chart. Okay, So this much we had done in problem 1. I am directly taking it from there. So this is my balanced flow chart which I obtained by applying balance equation that is material balance equation so you can check that 1000 kg per hour of mass is going in and if you add all these that sums up to be 1000 kg per hour okay now what happens is that i have to increase the production okay so instead of putting 1000 kg per hour i am now uh, putting in 1250 kg per hour to the same distillation column and now the problem at hand is I have to calculate how much of these uh, how much these values will become okay so in such a case what happens is that you if you have a balanced flow chart there is no need to calculate all these values by applying balance equations once again okay so if the flow rate or amount of one of the stream is changed from n1 to n2 see back again what i have done i have changed from thousand i am going to 1250 kg per hour so i am changing my n1 that is from thousand to n2 that is equal to 1250 kg per hour okay so if one of the flow streams is changed from n1 to n2 I don't have to carry out the balance equations or calculate uh, balance e using balance equations once again. What I have to do is simply find the scaling ratio that is N2 by N1. In this case, my N2 is 1250 and my N1 is 1000. So I have to find the scaling ratio. Once you have the scaling ratio, what you have to do is multiply all the stream amounts or flow rates by this scaling ratio. Now, once you do this, your flowchart will still be balanced and stream compositions remain unchanged. Okay, we will see this with an example. So, what we were dealing with is now feed has been changed from 1000 to 1250 kg per hour. So, my scaling ratio will be N2 by N1 that is 1.25. So, in order to find all these streams, the original values, 450 I have to multiply with 1.25 similarly 25 I have to multiply with 1.25 and the same thing I will do for the bottom product as well okay so this is again my balanced flow chart you can check that all the mass fractions are unchanged that is 450 divided by 25 plus 450 that is the same as 562.5 divided by 562.5 plus 31.25 okay so uh, only the flow rates of the streams have changed in scaling up their composition just doesn't change because our process is not changing okay so we are just increasing the amount by certain value okay but my process is same so it will give me the same results so the uh, mass fractions will not change only the quantity of the uh, stream or the flow rate of the stream will change that is what we have scaled up okay Let's say if I want to scale down a flow chart. So for in this example, from 1000 kg per hour, I'm going to 600 kg per hour. Again, what I will do is I will find out the scaling ratio. New value is 600 divided by the old value 1000. So I get a scaling ratio of 0.6. This is I'm scaling down the process. So what I will do is I will multiply all the original quantities by this scaling ratio, which is 0.6 and get the new flow rates. 
okay simple again you can go and check when even when we have scaled down my mass fractions remains the same okay so mass fractions do not change mass fractions of the individual streams they do not change when you scale up or scale down a flow chart only the flow rates change okay now i can also do a scale up on product stream till now what we were doing we were just doing scale up or scale down on the feed stream but it is also possible that i do a scale up on product stream say for example my new requirement is that i want benzene 1125 kg per hour in the distillate okay so this is my new specification which i want so instead of doing the calculations all over again i can just use my scale up technique and find out how much feed i have to put in in order to get this much flow rate of benzene in the distillate so what i will do again i will find out my scaling ratio my old value is one one uh, my new value is 1125 my old value is 450 kgs per hour so divide these two i get the scaling ratio that is 2.5 i have to just multiply all the streams by the scaling ratio so uh, toluene which will be coming out along with this much amount of benzene in the distillate will be 62.5 kg per hour similarly my new feed rate will be 2500 kg per hour and these will be my flow rates of the bottom products okay so very simple till now when you do a scale up you can do it either on the basis of your feed stream or product stream or for that matter you can scale up based on any of the stream okay what you have to do is simply you have to just find the scaling ratio and multiply all the flow rates or all the quantities if it is a batch process then there will be quantities okay if it is a continuous process then you will have flow rates what you have to do is just find out the scale up ratio or scaling ratio okay and just multiply all the amounts or flow rates by this scaling ratio in order to get the new flow rates or new amounts okay now let's take another problem in this i want to scale up but my original flow chart was uh, balanced based on mass conservation now what i want to do is while scaling up say initially i was uh, putting in 1000 kg per hour but my new specification is that i want to process 100 kilo moles per hour of this feed okay now i have to change this flow, flow chart from mass to molar flow rate then how am i going to do it because in last video what we had seen is that i can you know if this is mass uh, unit mass okay so i can just change it without affecting these values 100 500 450 whatever without changing these numerical values i can change this flow chart from one mass unit to another mass unit so i can write instead of kg i can write grams i can write pounds as long as that's a unit of mass i can change these flow rates okay but what if i want to change it to mole there i had told you that i cannot directly say 1000 moles per hour will give me 450 moles per hour of benzene in the distillate okay so there is a certain way of converting the um, flow chart balanced flow chart which is based on mass flow rate into a molar flow rate okay so just for simplicity what i am doing is now now i am just writing uh, the amount of benzene which is coming in you know, in the feed and the amount of uh, or this uh, toluene which is coming along with feed okay so uh, both of them are 500 kg per hour because your mass fraction is 0. 0.5 okay in order to convert from mass to molar flow rates what do you want you want the molecular weight of benzene and toluene so i have calculated molecular oh, okay so i have listed here molecular weight of benzene is 78 approximately and molecular weight of toluene is 92 so first step it will be 500 kgs divided by molecular weight of benzene that will give me the molar flow rate of benzene similarly i am multiplying 500 kg per hour of toluene by molecular weight that will give me kilo moles of per, per hour of toluene which is going in into the system so total feed which is going in will be equal to 6.41 plus 5.43 that is 11.84 kilo moles per hour similarly i will go and convert all these 
mass flow rates into molar flow rates by dividing them with their respective molecular weights. So now my original balanced flow chart which was in terms of kg per hour I have converted into kilomoles per hour. Okay. Now next step is that I have to scale it up because the requirement is that the feed flow rate is 100 kilomoles per hour. Okay. So in order to find this flow chart with a feed of 100 kilomoles per hour, my first step will be to find the scaling ratio. My new flow rate is 100 kilomoles. My older flow rate was 11.84. So I find a scaling ratio that comes out to be 8.446. Then in order to find how much I will be getting in terms of kilomoles per hour, I have to just go and multiply the old values with the scaling ratio. So in this case, I will multiply 5.77 with 8.446 and will get a value of 48.733 kilomoles per hour of benzene in the distillate. Okay. So this way we are going to convert a flow chart which is based on mass to a molar flow rate. So first step will be to convert all your mass flow rates into molar flow rates and then depending on your requirement scale up or scale down using your scale ratio or scaling ratio. Okay, now let's see some of the problems which we had taken previously and let's scale them up or scale them down whatever is the requirement. Okay, so there was a problem number 14. Uh, all the links of the, my previous video are given in uh, description box. So you can go and find out. Okay, so problem 14, it involved producing a mixed acid by mixing 98% uh, by weight of sulfuric acid and nitric acid whose composition is not known so i have to find out how much of these acids i have to mix and what is the strength of the nitric acid so we had applied uh, all the material balance and we have calculated these values okay and the basis chosen was 100 kg of mixed acid now the requirement is that i have to produce 500 kg of mixed acid so in this case i don't have to go and calculate do the calculations once again okay what i can do is just scale it up so to scale up the process from 1000 kg of product to from 100 kg of product to 500 kg of product what I will do is I will just find out the scaling ratio that will be new value upon old value 500 by 100 so my scaling ratio is 5 then I will go and multiply all the streams by 5 and I will get the new values so in order to get 500 kg of mixed acid I have to mix 219.4 kg of 98% H2SO4 and uh, 280.6 kg of nitric acid solution so this makes our uh, calculations very simple and you can check once again that the compositions of the stream remains the same. All these compositions will remain the same. While scaling up, I am just changing the flow rates. Okay. Let's take another problem. This was a, that of a tray dryer. I have taken it two times. Once I handled it as a batch reactor. Another time I handled it as a semi batch process. Okay. In this case, I was drying 2000 kg of solid which had 30% water and it was asked how much solid product with 99% solids will be produced and how much amount of water you have to remove in order to get this dry product. Okay, so I have over here a balanced flow chart for that process. Now I want to dry instead of 2000 kg, 5000 kgs of solid. Okay, in that case, again, I am emphasizing you don't need to calculate or do the calculations once again. You have to just use the scaling ratio. So initial, uh, initially it is 2000 kg. Now I want to dry 5000 kg. So my scaling ratio is 2.5. I have to just multiply all the quantities by 2.5 and I get the new value. So in order to uh, obtain 5000 kg of uh, in order to process 5000 kg of feed, I have to remove 1464.65 kg of water. Okay, so uh, I hope you like this video. And if you have you find this video useful, please encourage me by liking this video. Thanks a lot, and thanks for watching.